11.4 creating histograms says the Fahrenheit temperature readings on 50 spring mornings in New York City are summarized in the table below. Construct and label a frequency histogram of the data within an appropriate scale. So I like how they've already labeled our axes for us. We've got our temperatures down here on the x-axis and then we've got our how many number of days did that temperature occur. And so we've got a frequency table with ranges here. So from 30 to 39 degrees, that happened on two of the days and so forth. So our real job here is to figure out how wide do we make the bars? Because if you look on a problem above here, these bars are pretty skinny. How wide do we want to make these? Well, we're only going to have one, two, three, four intervals of data here. And I've got this whole graph. So let's count how many boxes there are going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if I have 20 divided by four, that's gonna be five boxes wide. And this little squiggle here is just a line break. It can happen on the x-axis, it could happen on the y's. And the reason that happens is because our lowest temperature isn't until 30 degrees. So we wouldn't wanna start at zero and count by ones or twos, because then you wouldn't even be able to fit 30 on here until way down here. And then also you would have all your data kind of crammed together. So that's what a line break is for. So you can skip some numbers and start really where your data starts. So let's go ahead and say for the first box, it's going to be up two. So for two days, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five boxes wide. And then put that temperature range on the bottom of the box. Okay, the next one, um, 40 to 49 is the temperature that occurred 30 days. Big difference would be here. Go five boxes wide. Next one, 50 to 59 degrees. That happened for 16 days. And then 60 to 69 degrees. That only happened for two days again. So it never got too cold or too warm. Um, you can color these in. On Delta Math, all you'll do is click down here and you'll start dragging and it'll slide these boxes up. You wouldn't have had to make these five boxes wide, but try to fill up a majority of your graph. Don't make them super skinny and um, um, make them all the same width for your boxes.